Hello there everyone and welcome back to my franchise zoo. Today we are going to add a few animals, um, which of we have a saltwater crocodile and we also go to add some zebras and uh, maybe also some antelopes, who knows, but we are going to do this in today's episode. Um, and we are also going to check out what we've done in the previous one, which is this wonderful monkey island over here for the lemurs. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy that you guys have uh, really accepted that so well and are happy with the overall change the only thing that was a little bit i was a little bit let down with is your um yeah contributions i guess nothing was added um li lately so I, I i waited a week now until i could finally um do something else but no one else was submitting anything anymore so i'm guessing um that this is kind of over which is totally fine we, we kept it going for such a long time but as of now, I need to work with what I have. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I will definitely do some stuff today on my own, which is uh, fair because that's also my video, you know, that kind of makes sense. Um, but uh, I would love to have some more shops in the future again that you guys provide, so that would be awesome. But first thing we do, we get some animals today. Um, as you know, last episode, I had some issues getting some female animals and there was a lot, or there were a lot of people in the comments which definitely said, um, the right thing why there are so little uh, female animals because mostly and especially of the more famous animals because mostly people keep them for breeding which I mean is totally logic and makes sense and uh, that said uh, it is more than important uh, to to keep them yourself as well to make sure that this works so we do have this wonderful small um, African elephant over here which I definitely want um, this is Yahi and I'm not sure if Yahi would work alone, so I definitely need two more of those. Um, but we also have the saltwater crocodile, we're going to use them later. I was just about to check if we have any other African animal in here. No, we don't have a zebra, we don't have that. So let's just quickly do this. So we need the African elephant and we need the zebra. Is this actually plant zebra or is this the zebra normally? I guess it is plant zebra, right? Um, yeah, there you go, and let's filter, you know, I'm, it's the same animal, but I just was thinking which, which was the filter, filter one in here. Can I just close this, please? Hello? Oh god, it's again very, very laggy. Okay, there you go. Oh my god, this is, this is a weak one. Um, what about this one though? Oh god, they are all very bad. No, this is a, not that bad. One female, that's awesome. And what about this male? Oh god, 5,000. Definitely not, mate. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna spend that much, that much. Oh, well, I don't even have that many uh, uh, conservation credits. So, whoops. <laughs> Look at... Okay, so we, this time we only have females. This is a really a little bit of a pity. Um, yeah, this is the only one that is kind of nice. Uh, let's do this from... Le repère du bandit. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, let's just... Uh, come on. Do it. Next. There is no... Okay. Whatever. Okay, we got them. I want to throw them into this habitat over here. We still need a male zebra before we, we, before we can throw it in. So let's just try that again. We go for just the, the male... Oh god. Why is it so damn laggy? I haven't experienced it that laggy at all lately. This is really weird. Might have also be my my internet. I don't know. My internet is also very bad, very bad today. Like very bad. Um, I didn't even know if I can record because at times it was even down for me the franchise. So maybe this is the reason. Yeah, no, I'm surely not giving that much money. Okay, for for zebras maybe the other way around. Then I could go back into my other zoos and then just do it. But yeah, how much space do you guys have? By the way, it's just about enough also hard shelter why is that okay oh look at that I, I love it look at this oh my god this is so cool this is so cool okay i mean um one thing i could do though i could just copy that one you know what we do we just copy this one and we will just lower this part down here uh, not lower but we're just going to delete this and then we're just going to take the roof if the game is not going to completely stop now and we are just going to the boa constrictor has offspring okay we have to monitor this a little bit more but yeah i'm just going to put that roof in between here a little bit more often as if that belongs here and then they should actually be more happy with hard shelter i'm not even sure if this in the back here needs to be 
We'll just drop it down. I'm not sure if this adds enough hard shelter for now, but um, uh, yeah, we can just move one more into the tree over here, like this. Uh, I, I, yeah. Not really sure if I like it in the tree though. Let's just do it a bit like separated, just next to it. Yeah, that should be fine. It's a bit repetitive, but I feel like this this looks better than nothing and uh, <laughs> uh, it, it should work. Okay, let's see if that improved the hard shelter. Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Space-wise, I might need to change a few things, but first of all, I'm not sure if, you know, the moment we put the elephants in and stuff, it might be too little, too little space. Oh uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, okay, let's let's quickly check that. We, we're going to throw the animals in and then we will get this done from there. So we have this one. Come on, move. It will be very much sad at the beginning until this animal is old enough because they need a bigger group as far as I remember. But maybe maybe the fact that we have some other animals in here will help. And then we can also take this one already um, to bring them all in. So we, let's, let's have a look what works and what doesn't. So there we go. We Oh, we have some collect unclaimed reward. Yes, give it to me, 25, wow. Um, two days left. What, gold rated primates. Um, honestly, do we, oh, we oh, we did sell all the bonobos, right? Uh, Raul, the, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. Let's just quickly, let's just, oh God, <laughs> is it so cramped? Are they all in here? Actually, what I was always questioning, do we even, like, do we see all the animals? Okay, we have four animals in here. That means we can sell two, which is, which is fine. Uh, Alejandro and Dolores will be will be still there, but uh, they will be sent back too. Okay, they are doing fine. I was just questioning myself always if we see all the animals, you know, because when they like at, at some point, I just imagined that they're like, okay, nope, it's too full. We're not going to display them anymore because I cannot remember that I've seen like a completely cramped, cramped habitat. Maybe we just do this. Okay, the pink tarantula has offspring. Let's have a look. How many are in here then? Okay, look at that. So we have, that's also Dolores. Um, we've got four, yeah, quite quite a lot. So let's see, normally we should have no issue at all finding all of them now. So there's sitting one. Let's have a look, I just wanna see if that works. Okay, there's one. Um, yeah, normally it should be easier to just click on the habitat and then just go to the animals and, wait, it doesn't display it that way, right? How exactly does it do it? Do we have to click on animals here and then highlight them? Wait, so Carlos is there. Okay, I, I just wanna figure if they're all in. Okay, so we have got one sitting here. We've got another one sitting here because there, there needs to be like a max limit oh, of animals, right? I mean, otherwise I, I cannot really tell. So there's the other one we have seen already. So where are more? This is just like four or something. You know, there need to be more. Is there one in the trunk here? Yeah, they're sitting another one. Um, okay, is there any more? More? So I think we found four, right? Four out of how many exactly? So we have to check again. I really want to know, I really want to know. So we have Dolores, she is here. Um, let's just go a bit more down. Where was that one? Okay, didn't we, we, we did see that one too, right? No, we didn't see that one, It's it's below Oh God, this is a bulky one, right? Oh, there's another one sitting just behind that one. Look at that. Hulk. And there's another one, there's another one. There is, wow, oh my God. This, this felt really disgusting right now. There's another one. It seems like they are really all displayed. This is crazy. Look at that, how many are in here? Is there another one just hidden there? No, how, okay, we have a lot of animals that have bad welfare. Is it about these ones? No. Uh, Beng oh my god, Bengal Tiger. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh god, I'm messing up this episode. I wanted to buy something and build something and whatever, and now I'm just messing up. Orangutan, uh, this is the Bengal Tiger. No, I need to click the gate, please. Okay, so how many are in here? Okay, this is not no good at all. Um, okay, let's just quickly check. Are you, how old are you? Are you the one, are you the, the younger one? Uh, let me just quickly check, wait. Where is it? 4.1 years, okay, you're the one to be released into the wild. See you later, have a good time, awesome. This one is fixed. Uh, why are you having stress? Okay, so someone put 
um, something in and they said it's very nice to put some rainforest speakers down here to make them have less stress. And this is something I definitely want to test, okay? Because they have still way too much stress and this is going to be happening right now. Let's go to facilities and then also check the ambient speaker. I have never thought about that, but we're going to put one here and another one in the tree, whoops, in the tree, in the tree here. So there you go. And we're going to say it is the, um, uh, actually we need rainforest maybe. Rainforest should be fine. And then what is about this one uh, could also be like rainforest. Why not? Insects of the jungle makes them hungry potentially. Let's do jungle rain, okay? So what I want to do now is I want to see where are the stressed out animals. Are you stressed out? You're about to die nearly. No, you're not stressed out. You are stressed out. Okay, let's see if that now goes up. Okay, it seems to really go up. Look at that. It goes up. I don't know if it is because of the people or not, but at least something is helping. Oh no, it's going down again. It's going down again. Okay, what happens if I put this speaker again in here, just here, for example, and another one here. Does this stress you out or does this help? All right, sorry, I uh, misclicked something again and then I kind of started to fix some things and I forgot to record again. Um, but basically, I didn't even look at the elephants and the zebra that I put in and you can see there is a whole bunch of problematic stuff going on in here. I'm going to fix this real quick. And yeah, as I said, uh, space wise, they are all getting into some trouble as you can see this is something we are going to fix right now and it should be easy fix because we still have plenty of stuff and uh, and space left to the left here so this is going to be uh, what we do now and then the people will hopefully get a good view later on we're going to bring them around uh, but yeah so overall i think that's a good idea and we could make the like hanging basket idea and just um, translate that into the whole habitat again, like making maybe a, a bridge crossing this area or whatever. But I'm just going to extend this whole thing now dramatically, mainly because that is what we need. And um, yeah, let's just connect this here. There you go. This is awesome, pretty simple, pretty easy. And now what we do, we just uh, manipulate the terrain as we need. We need to have bit these, uh, these, these, these indicators, that's the word. My English broken today. Sorry, broken English. So let's just move that open like this. And not even sure if they could escape though. If it's not low enough, just let's lower that down just a little bit so that we can make sure that they do not escape. And just click here and there just a little bit to give them. Oh my God, that looks so damn ugly and like bare bone, whatever. Um, but hopefully later on by putting some stuff in, it looks better. Um, but for now, I just want to give them the space. I'm just going to reload. Okay, so that should be a, a lot better now. Okay, recalculating the space. What the F? This is still not enough. Okay, wow. Well then, let's just maximize, uh, wait, what did I even do? Maximize it into the corners. Holy crap, they, they need like a huge, huge habitat, but that's okay. I'm gonna also just grab something away from this little bit here. There's also some more space to gain. Okay, I think that should be well enough now, let's see. Did we gain like another 200 square meters? I'm not even sure if we did gain anything. Oh, we did gain. Okay, we did gain a fair amount. There is still some space left. Um, and the animals also fine with the overall grass and stuff like that. Let's just check if the giraffes are happy still. Yes, they are too. Now hard shelter is becoming an issue. Um, but that said, we could just, you know what we do. We just transport that one over. Just gonna select all of this. There you go. Just put that into one building. Ooh, I don't know if that's a good idea though because of all the pieces, but I don't want to, you know, touch that too often. So we're just going to bring that over here. Just lower it all down. Oh, it will actually lower itself down. So whatever. Click. Oh my God, look at look at that madness. This is looking dangerous down here. <laughs> so dangerous. Okay, never mind. So this is then a bit of a hard shelter there. Uh, and I don't know even know if they like the tree or not, but I need to have one in the middle here just to make sure it's not looking super ugly and barebone. 
Um, that said, we need to still check if they're doing a social group is not perfect and species toy enrichment. We just throw some more enrichment in. Okay, elephant, toys, I'm gonna put this uh, tire in and also the big ball and they can also have the skittle. It's like a skittle. Skittle goes here. One, two, three, four, five skittles and I think yeah, that, that's about it. Let's put a sprinkler in between here. That is nice. Okay, let's unpause the game to quickly see. Protesters have arrived in my zoo. Yeah, no, but you don't need to come anymore because, you know, Akanke is doing a lot better now. Now let's see if Akanke is really doing better. Social group is zero. Yeah, okay. I'm still like, you know, I'm still trying to get a partner for you. If that's not going to get any better. Oh, there you go. There you go. You know, I just need to ask. Okay, so uh, this one is good. Let's connect. And before the protesters even will arrive at the habitat, they will be fine. All right, I think this is the moment where I can leave it running because now social group will be fixed for the elephant soon. Uh, it, it's gonna go grow up. The, the gorilla can, can fight whatever they want. It's the wrong habitat. And let me show you something, guys. I didn't, didn't check that, but look at this one. We have an albino lion and this one is our own one. It is grown in our own zoo. Look at that. Here we go. Born in our zoo and parents are Davut and Bijit. Um, that means we have our own albino and I, I completely missed out on that. Like, honestly, I did completely miss out on that. I was all of a sudden, I was like, just, you know, looking around. And I was like, what is that white thing in there? And I was like, okay, is that born here? Did I buy this? Because I remember that I said I didn't want to purchase. Same story with the Nile monitors over here. We have a new offspring that is um, also albino, as you can see. Now, the problem about these ones is that it's going to be over crammed here AF, as you can see. Um, I really hope that they are growing up soon because I cannot really change too much about this now. I mean, I could bring them somewhere else, but um, yeah, no, at the moment, this is a bit of a problematic thing. Is she actually pregnant again? No, she's not. I mean, for, for the moment, we can we can keep the contraceptives because I want to make sure that they all grow up soon. Uh, how long does it take, though, until it grow up? I uh, really Okay, they, they are just born what about those guys oh they are nearly grown up which is which is good which is good okay so the, the you know adult population is good but overall we need to be able to sell them all uh, soon okay they they are nearly grown up they are nearly grown up too so we can get rid of some of them soon which is good we have to monitor the notifications coming in and Bengal tiger white why are you still I did sell one of you guys I did sell one of you guys they're still did we bring someone in? Okay, how about you? So, Vaishnavi, but but she's the one, or Sahana. I'm not even sure which one is the older one. So this is Vaishnavi. Okay, is, is she too old already? No, she can get one more offspring. And you are the younger one. Okay, you are going to be released into the wild. Fatality is not good, no good at all. So see you later then. Okay, good, all the fix is done. Oh my lord, okay, we are quite long into the episode already and I've done basically nothing. Okay, so today I'm going to try something very different. I have no idea if it works. I have absolutely zero idea if it works. I really do hope though, but it's going to be interesting. Okay, so I'm going to make something completely completely different um, I haven't done this before and we are going to check out if that works now what we need is a lot of patience and we also need um, a way for the people to work uh, walk walk actually work and walk work and you walk walk so this is obviously one of the areas we are going to use but I want to have uh, a path leading through the area uh, not sure if I want to delete this path, but I think I'm just going to lead next to it. But we need to make sure that this is going to work here. So you will be seeing what I'm going to do in a bit. And uh, yeah, that area over here will be interesting on this side. I'm going to make this a bit bigger because we need some space for the salties in here later. Um, I'm going to make this a bit wider as well just for the beginning so this is where the path will go and we're going to make the path actually start and end with a stair uh, it might look a bit ugly at the beginning but i think it's worth it because then we have it a bit easier which 
terrain is too uneven for placement. Is that... I, I think it worked better when I used this one. Um, okay, let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay, well then I guess I'm going to use the... Wait, there was the option... I checked something yesterday that this worked better. I think I used both of these options and then it worked. No, it didn't really work out. Never mind. We're going to start down here on the floor level and then both of this should be deactivated so we're gonna go here and now what we do now tunneling flat terrain both activated and then just do it that way and we bring the stair obviously up it doesn't really matter if there is a bit of destruction going on here um so is there still terrain to uneven terrain modification failed so this is where i could start Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? All the path work. I hate path work. Okay, never mind. Can we just stop the curved path? I really do hate that at times. Okay, so the angle is pretty much okay. Let's bring it all into the perfect angle. There you go. And now let's bring it down. I really want to just bring it down. Okay, well, I need to flatten terrain, but no tunneling. Flatten terrain. That's the only thing I need. So let's just bring it down until we are down here awesome now we just flatten the terrain just bring it down here around there you go so that should be enough and now let's bring the stair up here i really do hope that's enough there you go we connect yeah no that is a perfect flatten here oh my god why are you doing this why though no 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 and why is this always can it just be there please Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna keep it that way. I just put a stone in or whatever. I mean, this is not the right thing to do in franchise mode. I tell you guys, do not struggle with the pathing too much. Is that too high also? It goes up and down. Whatever. I'm gonna, we're gonna cover this up. I'm too lazy to do this now. I'm being brutally honest here, but whatever. I mean, that is how you need to do it. Okay, now what I need to do next, and this is the, the most important thing, is I'm going to create a overpath which is going to be yes it should exactly be as thin as that i really hope that yeah that should be exactly what i wanted great all right um this is pretty high though this is the it's just honestly the this is how high it needs to be holy crap okay that is interesting. I really did not know that. That it needs to be this crazy high. Wow. Well then, okay. There's no other option to do it that way then, I guess. Um, yeah, we have to see. Now, I did do something similar already in one of my old zoos, but I did do it a little bit differently than what I have in mind right now. So, we are going to have the terrain now kind of brought out here a little bit there you go and then um, yeah, I, I just make this a bit more hilly over here I think that should not to be, be big of a deal there we go because I'm preparing for something I really do hope for in the future and that could be a cool experience I'm I'm not like entirely sure how exactly that will look but yeah um, so this is going to be it, all right. I'm really curious to see how this will work out. I need to raise this area already quite a lot so that this is the height we need to go for. That should be good, like so. Okay. I hope it uh, it's going to appear to you guys in a, in a bit how it should be, what it should be, and you know why I'm making such a mess here. You will obviously see that from the thumbnail, and you you know I'm I'm pretending you don't know what's happening, but actually. You guys already saw it, while well, I have no idea how it will look. This is actually pretty funny, you know? You you see the thumbnail, you might be attracted by the thumbnail, and then, you know, I'm the, the stupid idiot here pretending that you know don't know what's happening, but you know what's happening, and I don't. What a story. What a story. Madness. Okay, now let's go to barriers and start messing around with the barriers. Now, I want to... Oh my lord, okay. Um, yeah, we do need to start with the round one. And just 
curl that so it does fit in here. Awesome. Now let's go to the straight one and length is pretty much not what I want. So we need to, how and why isn't that working here? There you go, this works, okay. Now we need to bring it up here and I guess this is the best thing we can do. Awesome. And now I need to make sure that this is all, <sighs> yeah, no, I mean, come on. Why can I not, <sighs> really? So, I can't. <laughs> This is so weird. I just want to make sure that this is... Okay, I need to first of all build both of these things. Whatever then. No, not like that. I'm gonna bring this all the way over here. Yes, and then... Oh well, whatever you want to tell me. Just gonna curl this around like so. Yeah, that's gonna be part of the habitat as well. And there we go, because this is going to be the next hub here anyways, so this is where the entrance will be to the habitat. This is going to be that one. This is not working, okay. Uh, you know, this is just a, just a basic habitat build now. So there you go, and I'm gonna bring this all around here. Just up the hill again, all right. Let's see if we can move this exactly in position. We can. Awesome, this can be all straight. Let's bring it all the way over. And then, okay, how do we bring this down without having issues? Okay, this is how we do it. Terrain is too uneven for placement, are you kidding me? Okay, you know what we do? Let's make the terrain a little bit more or less uneven then. There you go, that should hopefully do it. Now edit the barrier and yeah, it does it. It does it, okay, that was, that was quite simple. Okay, and we do it that way and connect it. Awesome. So I need to be able now to just delete this one, right? And then connect those two, but make it with a... Yes, that works. Awesome. Just a little bit more roundish. That one is fine. I just want to make sure that this one is also going to be... Kidding. I can't... Oh, okay. I wanted to say I cannot do it, but I can do it. Awesome. So this is all done. Great. Now, you guys will potentially already know what I'm up to. Um, and I will now just do a bit of terrain work here. Just to make sure that we have it already done. Same for here. You know, stuff like that should be fine. I guess at least. Okay, now just to make sure that this all works, we're just going to go to the barrier again. And we're just going to bring... Oh, well, connect here. That should be should be all good. Should be all good. And now we need to raise all of this as much as we can. As much as we can. Just bring it all up. There you go. This is it. And then we just do it for all of those things as well. Oops, that is a little bit too high. But the same goes for you. And for you. Oh, well, I can, I can just do it with all of them. Wait, no all of these and just all the way around till here okay now they have to be raised on their own there you go we have to bring them all very high up this looks very strange right now i really hope it looks a lot better later on um just raise that one too good okay if i've done everything correct we should be able to fill in water now Please, uh, please let this work. Yes, it does. Okay, so it's actually... Yeah, no, that's fine. Now, again, I really do hope that we will be able to bring the barrier as... Yes, we are able to do this. That is exactly what I wanted and what I needed here. Um, yeah. This can also go a little bit like that and like this. And this one is going to be glass, all glass. Let me just bring this down here. This is going to be like so, and this needs to be like this. That is going to be full glass, transparent glass. There you go. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna pull that one down. Hey, can I just pull you down even more? No, I cannot, but I hope I can do the same with this one. Yeah, and we're gonna make this glass too. Make this whole thing look like a nice little tank. Awesome. And this over here is going to be a whole window. Uh, going to be a 
one side one way glass look at that awesomeness awesome awesome it's a bit of a pity that i cannot bring this one down even more oh i can okay that looks a lot better now so there you go and we are also going to raise that back side a little bit and that one goes down to just kind of bring a nice little curve to it and also like this and then we should be able to make this like greenish again i'm just a big fan of this greenish background yeah it's a little bit like water green but that's fine and now that barrier over here is uh, going to be oh, first of all we have to make sure that this one is no habitat perimeter and then we just drag it all the way down like that just to make sure that this is all nice and fine and so the crocodile can just uh, walk in if it needs to and we're going to raise this side wall as much as we can and later on we need to make sure that there is also some rock work and stuff in front of it. We can just have that one like so. And I'm gonna do this into a glass wall. And that one is going to be raised. And then this one is also going to be raised to be one side. Uh, 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 how? Okay, wait, I need to do it that way. Awesome. And just raise all of them. And that goes down. So that we have a nice little thing. Okay, look at that. Okay, this is the only only mess up piece we have. Whoops, there you go. And we drag it down again. Great, look at, I mean, look at that. This is a very interesting habitat. I know it's at the moment looking pretty stupid and strange, but we're gonna do a little bit of a cut now here so you guys have a bit of a better experience. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make all the annoying stuff now so you guys see the more or less final result and uh, I'll be back with you in a bit all right so we are back and uh, some last little things we can actually do together you can see a whole bunch has changed um there's a platform in the water where the animals can climb on or actually these um, crocodile can climb on and go to the wrapping pad which i want to quickly uh, recolor and get in this one by the way <laughs> i'm a little bit exhausted right now because when i was uh, actually doing this outside here uh, there was a whole freaking thunderstorm going on and <laughs> um, we still had our stuff on the balcony and I just ran down to grab it all and then pull it in um, because it was also so windy that finally the rain also got onto the uh, balcony and yeah, I just wanted to just want to make sure that there is no problem at all. Anyways, last little things we do, uh, education needs to be here um, because the animals cannot be seen right now. Uh, well, actually they could see them from over here. I'm not even sure if they, they will stop by. Um, I really hope that the animals will come later on and just go over here. We haven't set a keeper yet for this animal habitat, which we will do right now. So I'm gonna call a keeper down here and gonna create a new work zone, which is this one. And that is the crocodile. Oh, I should, I should write that correctly. Crocodile, there you go. Okay, so crocodile is done. It's going to be uh, less rainy. Um, yeah, yeah, the gorilla can still fight. That is fine. So we have done that. We haven't renamed this one. Crocodile. There you go. Um, Gariel is about to have offspring. That is awesome. How about our Nile monitors, by the way? Are they grown up? I haven't checked that while I was doing. So uh, let me quickly check. Doesn't necessarily look like how... <clears throat> How much longer you guys need? Ah, nearly. Okay, maybe at the end of this episode they will be grown up. That would be awesome. Uh, because otherwise it's going to be painful. Anyhow, the problem I had over here is that I ran out of foliage to put in. Because you can see there are already uh, pretty much, um, well, all done with the foliage. There you go. It's already maximum. I haven't done the terrain yet, which we will do now. Uh, they do have too much long grass, which is obvious, and too less soil. So I'm gonna make a bit more soily down here. So that is pretty obvious that they don't like this. Um, so I'm gonna make a bit more soil here and there, just here on the corners. That is fine. And now we can also have rocky, rocky face down here everywhere to the ground if they want this. So just give them some more rock. That should all be good. I'm not even sure if that does this count underwater. No. Well, it does. It does count, right? Uh, okay, but not like not like dramatically. Okay, so I think it needs to be that area then. 
just to make sure. Yeah, 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 now we have two less soil. I got it. Let's do more soil then here. I just don't want to have it like super dark all. Just in the green. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the habitat looks immediately better already. So we don't even need to... Uh, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Every single episode, guys. No, 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 no. You do not have to do this. Um, Hit play again. There you go. Okay, so look at that. It's going to be it's going to be more interesting for people. They can see the animals, which is good. Now let's um, hit some education signs and put them uh, here, here, and another one, just in your face. There you go. And obviously, there's going to be salt water crocodile, salt water crocodile, and also salt water crocodile now the question i have is have i all researched them i'm not sure if i did uh let me just quickly check zoo and vet research um the gharial is not being researched for whatever reason the My nile monitor is not being researched oh my god why haven't i researched all of them okay me being stupid i guess me being stupid so there's one animal tumbling around there, not doing the job. Anyways, okay, let's put some rocks down and then we're good to go for today's episode, guys. Because I don't, you know, this is already freaking long. I, I actually have even no feeling how long exactly it'll be because of all the breaks. And sometimes these breaks are good, but sometimes they completely, uh, you know, crash the concept of where you are and what you do. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, they are, anyways, they are important um, because, yeah, it, it's just too much for one episode. So I need to make these breaks every now. And I know that some people want to see it all, all of the stuff happening, but you know, it's just a little bit too much if you do see all of it in detail. So yeah, just going to put down some of the rocks here and I guess it would also look better to have these rocks in the back here. Or how does it look if we, if we change the color of the whole backside into this greenish color? Because that one is still very nice. Yeah, I, I think I like that. I think I like that and now I can just put some rocks in front of it to break the mood a little bit. You know, just take these ones or maybe the bigger ones, maybe maybe some of them. We have enough space so I don't need to be too careful about where I put them. Uh, so now let's just, just throw them down. Uh, not into the palm tree though. Another one goes here. Trying to be not too repetitive. Yep, that uh, should be fine. Another one goes down. Oh, some more rain. We haven't had rain. Ha 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 in this episode. Well, we had enough, right? But okay, so I'm going to throw some rocks here and there just to make sure that there is something and also go to construction and say, I think it was branch, right? Yeah, so just throw these African branches down. Um, I just like them because they, they look, they look kind of like a bit of nature that would just be lying around here. And um, they don't count towards the nature stuff. And so this is why they come in very handy when you want to do some kind of uh, foliage stuff work, whatever, you know, nature work. There you go, just lying around. That should be all good. Okay, see, they, they are looking down here. I don't wanna, you know, I don't want you to stand here just like that. I just want to make sure that there is also like a bit of a rock here. We could do some gardening work around this if we want. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna pull down an info board. It's gonna be here. And also that is the saltwater crocodile. Look at that. Um, yeah, there you go. Look at this guys. We, we have done it. It's looking it's looking really good. It has to be embedded a lot more into this area. It's, it's quite crazy right now. Um, a lot more rocks and stuff need to go in and you know, just make it uh, all over a bit more seamlessly integrated into our area, which will work by times putting down some foliage and, and you know, rocks like I'm doing right here to make this tunnel also feel more natural. I do want to make this tunnel though um, with concrete and stuff so that this looks a bit more stable <laughs> because at the moment that looks a bit terrible. Uh, but yeah, so just like, I think this, this, this whole idea about this habitat works out just fine. So this is what I wanted to achieve first of all. Uh, which I think is, is just great and yeah everything else will work from here I guess just putting down some kind of things for the context right now just block some views just make sure that this all over is a bit more interesting to look at and uh, yeah that should be it okay let's quite 
quickly stop here and have a nice look. Yeah, I like this front a lot because this is kind of interesting. I just want one last thing though is I want to grab this one and put this, wait, I cannot, I cannot put you there. Can I put you here? No, I cannot put you here. Can I put you here? Yes, I can. Let's see what the animal does once it's on here. The mega, the mega. There you go. Look at that animal. Awesome. I love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it a day here because this is, um, I think, as beautiful as we can get it. Um, I just love this view as it is right now. Let's just keep that for the end. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a bit unconventional, but yeah, I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to uh, leave a like as always. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet for whatever reason and you want to be updated about new videos, make sure to click that sub button. That helps out a lot. And um, yeah, just a last reminder, we are having now our own membership uh, Discord channels and still I need some input from you guys what you want to see in there. I put some teasers and stuff, but you need to actively help me in there. There are quite a few lo people in there already, so um, that would be awesome to get some input. But yeah, other than that, uh, keep it going, guys. Have a wonderful weekend and I talk to you in the next one.